All right, guys, look what the goats did. They completely, I think the bottom of it rotted out. And that's that wheel that they can stand on and roll around. What you want, Lily? Hmm? What you want, honey? It fell over. Let's go take you over and show you what's going on. There they go. Look what they did to it. <laughs> Looks like the bottom rotted out. Looks like I'll be putting in probably at least two, maybe three boards. Restack it, put it back together again. But um, in doing so, I'm probably going to, if I can still do it, if it's salvageable, to set it on 4 by 4s Somebody just bit my butt. Was that you? Huh? That hurt. Yeah, Lily, I know you want it back. All right, so let me take this thing apart by hand, bring it to the tractor, and then I'll take it apart completely and see if I can't put new bottom pieces in and see what we can do. That bottom piece is rotted out really bad. I don't think it's salvageable. I may have to rebuild the whole bottom. Ew, the top portion's in good shape. But the bottom is not. Wow. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, you guys can see it, huh? Look at that. That's what sits on the ground. All right, guys, there you go. Here's the side of it. Got it sitting here. And uh, this is what we really are looking at. Um, I definitely have to rebuild the whole thing. And um, like I was saying before, I think I'm going to go ahead and use two by sixes. So and there's the top piece. It looks in good shape. I got the three bolts out. They were pretty easy to unscrew. So there you go. This thing's solid and heavy. It ain't going nowhere. All right, I'm going to use the good piece. This is the very top as the sizes that I need a, cu a cut. In my first cut, I figured that I'm going to need three feet from this board. From end to end was three feet. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take a measurement and do my cuts. So I'll have all my, they'll be all straight, but then I'm going to have to cut the circle. So, for now, let me go ahead. I'm going to get everything cut up. I've got this pretty much set. I cut these wrong, but it actually works out better. Um, I cut them really at 33. I said 36. I cut these at 33 right here, and that works out better. I've already cut my length. My center board is this one right here, which is at 36 inches. Then each one of them got shorter. And you can kind of see how they kind of get shorter. These here actually go, they're the last set they go through here. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get these boards centered where they need to be, get everything centered. I'm going to go ahead and start screwing the, the center boards in, work my way out and get these all set up. And then I need to place these boards on the ends. So um, one at a time, um, these will eventually need to get ripped down, but once I get these screwed in, I'll be able to figure out where that needs to be, and then I can use the clamp. All right, there you go. The bottom part of this is complete. So now what I need to do is I found the exact center of this board right here. That is the center of it. That is 36 inches from there to there, 18 inches here. So now I'm going to hook a string to it, and I'm going to make a circle go all the way around if I do it right I've got my mark right here I have a center I, I forgot what they're called the center scope it pins and it has a scriber on it I'm trying to find it. I'm going crazy because I know I have it I'm just looking around so I'm going to keep on looking and uh, I think I know where it's at let me go check it out all right 
It's not what I thought it was. I thought it had pencils on it, but it is a poker. You can find your center. I've already pre-done it, checked it. I measured from here to here is 18 inches. That locks it in spot. It don't go nowhere. So I just took it and drag it. We did a scribe. Here we go. There. Okay. Now I probably could have taken a, a um, piece of string and put a pencil on there and done that. But I didn't tell you think about it. I just knew I had that and that worked really good. So now we just need to go ahead and cut this out. All right, as you can see, I got those all done. The roundness is completed, okay, all the way around. Now I need to go ahead and somehow figure out how to cut this groove in here because these slots right here fit, this is the center, they thin in there so they don't come out. So now I gotta find out, figure a way to how to make this round slot all the way around, transpose it on here. So I have this. I've already gotten one, two, three of the holes that those big bolts went through. I did I took out earlier. They're there. What I did to find out where that needs to be placed on a new board, I took a measurement from this edge here to there, which was 10 inches. So I went from this edge here, mark 10 inches. I did it in four spots. Then I came back and measured again from here to there, which is 11 inches. And I went ahead and marked right here, my 11 inch gap. I got a piece of wire that doesn't bend, okay? I put it on my center hook, and I grabbed my pencil, and right where that 11 inch mark was, right there, and I just went around circles around the whole board and transcribed that line all the way around. This wire went right in circle, I held the pen or pencil. So now we've got the circle that we need to do. Now I need to cut into it. All right, you kind of see I did it. It's kind of hobbled, jobbled, wobbled, wobbled, whatever you want to call it. But there's a groove cut. And it's enough to keep these from kicking in and out. Okay, so we're, we're good. I was really trying to make it smaller. But when you're using your skill saw and drop it down to 3 8 deep and just keep right on going. And then I use the hand chisel and chisel the lateral spots. So there we go. Those are all set. I believe now I need to start temporarily trying to figure out how I'm going to set all this together as one piece. As you know, Tony, he is very famous for not turning on the stupid camera. I'm not going to pull this back apart. <laughs> but what I did do is I got that five gallon pail. I set it in the middle and you can see there's a difference of maybe about six inches. But I set it in the middle. I took the three bolts, the guide bolts, one, two, and there's one over the three. I set them straight through, make sure they went all the way through. I can put it down the bottom. I could. <clears throat> so I put the nut on loosely with the big washer, and this was the big washer. There's one on this side, one on the other. And I um, put them on loosely, and then I've been sticking in these collars, I guess you would want to call it, I guess. They go around this whole thing. So I'm going to put in another one. But what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to have to take out one of these bolts. Take it loose to get that pail out of there. But I'm still trying to get enough collars around it to where it's sturdy. So I can go ahead and pull that out. And then slide in one more collar to keep it level if that all makes sense.
I'm loosening up these nuts a little bit so this top will come up some. I'm going to have to take one of these bolts loose and lift the bolt out of the way so I can slide the barrel out and I'll slide another one of these in the middle back in. I'll take this one out. And here's that washer I told you about and there's the nut. Let's get this bolt out of here. Get this in the middle. Here we go. Got two more. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you tightening this thing down, but when I've got it all tightened down where I need to be, I think I'm going I'm to have to squash these boards together some more, tapping around, get them to come in closer, and I'll get everything tightened up. I'll bring it back to you to show you what it looks like when it's rebuilt. All right, I got the three bolts tight. You can see them right there. They're tight. That brings us, it squashes. The, these two together, which makes those tight. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. Everything's pretty solid. I can't move it. I'm pretty sure I may have to tighten these up again one day. But we're good for now. Let me see if I can't. I just seen that. Well, none of this wood is exact. I mean, I don't know how old this wooden wheel is, but it's old. So, all right, now let me show you what I've got to do. All right, that's the way it sits. See, I got the four by fours on the bottom. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I had a board, as you can see, that went on top of here. Okay, for right now, I'm gonna leave it open, but I'm gonna find another board to put back on here so the goats don't fall through, hurt their legs. Ooh, got a little boo-boo on my, on my knuckle, huh. Um, but when I do get it placed in there, I'll nail or screw this plywood piece back on for right now i'll use this hole to help pick this up you know put the chain through it and use a tractor to do all the work
As you can see, they are already trying to get on top of that, and which means their opportunity of jumping over the fence is high. So, I need to do this quick, put this thing on there, let nail that board on there, and uh, move that away from the fence line. I'm gonna raise this bucket up, up high enough where they won't jump up, and then I'm gonna nail that piece on and work on it, you'll see. They are trying to get on top. So be quiet. You be quiet. You be quiet. I can't come in here all the time for you. As you can tell, they're very interested in it. All right, let's go, guys. Come on. Look out. Look out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Huh? <laughs> they love that thing. Alrighty. Well, there you go, guys. That's basically how I fixed the wooden wheel that they love to play on. And see, before, I think I've done it in other videos, they actually used to be able to push that when it. They used to be able to push that all over back here. I don't know how they would do it. But at one time, I used to have it, or actually had it over here, so they can jump on it back and forth. Well, they got it pushed over to that fence, and I didn't realize it. And one day, I came home from town, and um, they were all outside the fence, and I did not understand how they could have done that. The gate was shut. And then when I brought them back in, they went right over and jumped over again. Then I figured it out. But yeah, so what I'm hoping is by putting those 4x4s under there as like setups, that will hope stop them or slow them down from moving it. Because they can have it that halfway back. They'll have a back in that thing in about a week before. And I was always rolling it, moving it back, back and forth or over here. So it's fixed. I got that plywood on there. You see me nail it on so they can't go through it. It's all good. And then you got these two troublemakers. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What is all that noise? What is all that noise, Sophie? What? 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 What, baby? What? What, baby? What you want? Oh. You know what I need to do? Did you hear her say what? 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 what, what? What baby? What baby? All right, you gonna stop honking there? Huh? You gonna stop honking? Yeah? You gonna stop? Hold on, Sig. He's having a fit because she's getting attention. What? 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 I need to put some more hay in there for them. Straw hay. All right, baby. All right, baby. Hey guys. I'm gonna say within a month I'll be breeding these guys. Be breeding her. Huh. 
Huh. Yeah. I know. I know. All right, let's go say say hi to Sig real quick. And then we'll end the video. What? What, 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 what? Huh? Hey, Sig. What are you doing, big boy? Huh? What are you doing, big boy? Look how big he is. Look how stout he is. He's strong. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? Are you liking that, too? Are you liking that, too? Huh? What are you doing? What? 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 You gonna come up and say hi? Huh? I should have had the tripod over here with me, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I know. I know, Sig. I know, Sig. All right, guys. It's not time to feed, but we're getting close. All right. Well, that's it, guys. We got this thing all rebuilt, put back together, and uh, the goats are <laughs> They're still on it. That's pressure. She's up there now. <laughs> Jimmy! He's eating the Christmas lights. What are you doing? No! No! Guys, I gotta get going. Y'all have a great day. I see him chewing, but I don't see a light missing. Oh, yeah, I do. Right there. Right here. All right, smart act. All right. Guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for looking at the dumb, dummy Jimmy. Uh, hopefully, he'll be all right. There they all are. Jimmy, uh-uh. All right, we're going to go. Y'all have a great day. See you later. Bye.